You've got it. Make it work. Last four. You're looking good. Two. Really, really concentrate on these obliques. Pulse. Pulse. Contract. Welcome to Abs of Steel 3. I'm Lisa Hart. I've designed three dynamic abdominal workouts to challenge all fitness levels. Join me first for the 15-minute beginner program where you'll learn some essential techniques to properly feel all the abdominal muscles in action. When you feel you're ready, move on to the 15-minute intermediate program. Now, once you've mastered both the beginner and the intermediate routines, challenge yourself to the five-minute bonus crunch, which you'll find at the end of this tape. The bonus crunch can be added directly onto your intermediate program or performed alone when you want a quick, intense abdominal workout. Three to five pound hand weights are optional in the bonus crunch. All you'll need for Abs of Steel 3 is an exercise mat or carpet. And no matter which program you choose, always begin with a warm up and wind things down with a cool down, which you'll find at the end of the intermediate program. You're going to get the results you want, especially if you combine aerobic exercise and a low-fat diet with your program. Now let's get busy working towards those abs of steel. We'll start out with our feet just about shoulder width apart. Bend your knees, keep your toes facing me. Now, contract the abdomen inward as if you were pulling the navel in towards your spine. Tilt the pelvis slightly upward. Lift up through your rib cage. Keep the shoulders lifted right above your thighs. Let's take a deep breath, inhale, and breathe it up. Sway your hips from side to side if you'd like. Have a little fun, and exhale, take it out. In again, please. Now, no matter what type of exercise routine we're doing, it's important to warm up the muscles, get the blood circulating, and especially we'll warm up those muscles throughout the abdominal area. Take it down, exhale. Give it to me one more time. Big stretch up, energy, and exhale. Take it down. Next, we'll be step touching to your right, lifting your left shoulder. And one. Good. Still contract the abdomen in for me. Lean it slightly forward. Four more. There's four. Three. Next, we'll be turning this same step at a right angle. Give me one more. Now let's turn it. And one. Good. Contract. Shorten it and lengthen it. Four more here. There's one. Then we'll be taking it to the center, lifting your right arm up and your right toe goes out. Last one. And one. Press. You've got it. Stretch it up. Make it work. Looking good. Four more. Then we'll be taking it to the left angle, lifting those shoulders again. Two and one. Press it. Lift. Stretch. Contract. Looking good. Last four. Four. Three. Now we'll take it back to the center. Feet shoulder width apart. We'll take a deep breath. Inhale left, please. Inhale. Reach it. Stretch it. Exhale. In one more time. You've got it. And breathe it out. Let's take those fingertips right in front of the hips. We'll be moving our ribs from side to side, but keep your hips facing me. We'll start it out slow and then pick up the pace. Let's go. And one, two, lift it and set it down each time. Give me four more, four. Stretch and press. Last two and one. Let's speed it up. Press, one, you've got it. Make it work. Last four, three, two, bring in your left leg and inhale. Big stretch, exhale, keep those knees slightly bent. One more time, please. Reach it up, you've got it, and exhale. Now, bring the elbows in and reach out to the sides. Push both arms out, extend it. Good, keep going. Now we'll do four more like this, and then we'll be leaning out to your right side. Feel this stretch right along the sides of your rib cage and lean it. Press. Use the body weight to big stretch. Good. Last. Four. Feeling the stretch right along the sides, your obliques. And take it in. Inhale up and release it. And exhale. We've got your abdominal muscles all warmed up. We're ready to get to work. Stretch it and exhale. Take it down. This is your beginner program. 
Now before we start, let's go over a few points. Keep a straight line from between your shoulder blades to the top of your neck. And you can do this by imagining you're holding a softball between your chin and chest. When we take the elbows back, we gently place the thumbs behind the ears, but we don't lace the fingers. Keep the elbows back in your peripheral vision and avoid taking it forward and leaning it back. Next, I'd like you to imagine that the lower abdominal area were a balloon. If air goes out of the balloon, it becomes smaller, and as air goes back in, it inflates and stretches back out. So if we exhale, the abdomen should get smaller, contract inward, and as we inhale, it comes back out and stretches out. Let's go down to the floor and give that a try. Gently roll yourself back one elbow at a time. Carefully roll yourself back, head down to the floor. Feet are fairly close to your glutes, your rear end, and let's try those contractions. Contract and release. If you need to, place one hand on the lower abdomen so you can feel the press inward. So your exhale and inhale. Breathe out and in. Keep going with these contractions. Now these contractions can be done anywhere. At your home, driving in your car, sitting at your desk at work, waiting in line for the elevator. What we're trying to do is give the muscles memory so that they will hold themselves in. Get you ready for that little bikini, that little tight mini skirt. Keep going, exhale and inhale. Now remember these contractions, we'll use them throughout the entire routine with all the different exercises. And release it. The first exercise that I'd like to show you is to strengthen the lower back as well as the abdomen. And I strongly suggest if you have a weak lower back to do these exercises on your own before you proceed with the rest of the program. So the move goes like this. Imagine there were a button on the floor behind the small of your back that we're pressing into the floor and keeping it pressed. As we do, we press and we lift one leg slowly up at a time, straight towards the ceiling, ceiling. Now lower the other leg, lower, lower, and release the press. Press, lift, lift, hold, lower, lower, and release it. Keep going, contract through the abdomen, Lift, lift, hold, and lower, and release it. Let's try eight of these. Let's go press, press, lift, controlled, and lower, lower, release. And press, lift, lift, hold, lower, lower, release. Good job, contract it. Now if you're doing this correctly, it should be more difficult to lift your second leg. Contract it, press it in, lift, lift, lower, lower, and release. Press it, we have four more, and lower, lower, release. This is a fantastic exercise to strengthen that lower back. And hold, and lower, lower, release it. Three more, please. Contract and lift, lift, hold, control, lower, lower, and release. We're almost there. Contract and lift, lift, lower, lower, slowly release it. Last one, you're doing great so far. And contract, lift, lift, and lower, lower, release it. Good job. Now, Remembering those contractions that we learned at the beginning, we'll take the elbows slowly back, thumbs behind the ears, and remember not to lace your fingers. What we'll do, we'll start out with eight contractions through the abdomen, and then we'll incorporate crunches with it. Let's contract, contract, squeeze it in. Three, four more, four, three, two, get ready to crunch. Here we go, crunch, controlled, Avoid tilting the neck back. Hold on to that softball. Four more, please. Four. Lift up. That's two. And hold it up on your last one. Now we pulse, pulse. Strong, strong. Four, three, two, one. Take it slowly down, and we repeat the contractions, crunches, and pulses. Eight each. It's eight, seven, six. Strong pull. Four, three, two, get ready to crunch. Here we go, lift, control, squeeze it in. Don't tilt that head back, small it back into the floor. Now four, three, looking good. 
two. Hold it up on one, please, and pulse. Pulse. Three, four, last five, six, seven, and hold. Roll it slowly down to the floor. Good job. Take the knees out one at a time. Arms come out over the head. Now, as if you were trying to lift up off the floor, take a deep breath, inhale, and contract every muscle in the body. And exhale, release it. And now, taking the feet out a little bit further than we did before, rest the weight into the heels. Now, in this position, with the legs out longer, we'll work more in the lower region of the abdominal area. This is your rectus abdominis. It is a long muscle. Right now, we're going to look at work the lower region. Now, in this position, your back will have a tendency to arch, so let's really, really tilt the pelvis and press the small of the back into the floor. Relax your legs. Elbows come gently back, thumbs behind the ears. Remember not to lace the fingers. Now, we start out with the eight contractions, eight crunches, and eight pulses. Let's go. Crunch. Crunch it in. Squeeze. Squeeze. Four more, please. Control. Six. Seven. Crunch up. Here we go. Crunch. Don't tilt the head back. Hold on to that softball. Last four. You've got it. Three. Two. Hold it up for me. And pulse. Pulse. Remember not to tilt the head back. Press. And take it slowly down. You've got it. And we repeat it one more time. Eight contractions. Eight crunches. And eight pulses. Let's go with those contractions. And contract. Really work it. Last four. There's four. Three, two. Crunch it up. Here we go. Crunch. Don't tilt your head back. Elbows stay out. Four more, please. Doing good. There's four. Three. Last two, you can do it. On one, stay up. And pulse it. Control it. Looking good. Last four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower yourself down. Extend one leg at a time again. Lift those arms way up over the head. Inhale and contract, lift your body. And exhale, release it. And one knee into the chest at a time. Let's stretch the lower back out just a little bit. Lift the tailbone up off of the floor. Push the knees into the palms. Lift it up again. Push the knees into the palms and release it. Now we take one foot down onto the floor at a time, about hips distance apart. We've been working your rectus abdominis. Now we're going to do some oblique work, those muscles that run right along the sides of your rib cage. Now what I'd like you to do is lift your leg up, cross it over the other knee, and just let this knee fall out to the side. We take the elbows back, thumbs go behind your ears. Remember, don't lace your fingers. Now we're gonna keep your left elbow on the floor and your right elbow is going to lift towards a center imaginary line. So when we lift up, we're lifting straight up with the shoulder towards the knee rather than bringing the two together. So let's try that. Lift up and down. Exhale and inhale. Contracting through this side right here. That's the side that we're working. Looks good. Let's try eight more. Here's eight. Inhale, exhale. Stretch it long. Four more, please. There's four. Press it up. And give me one more. Now we hold it up and pulse it out. Pulse. Contract. Contract. Four, three, two, and one. Now arm comes over and pull it back. Exhale and inhale. Four more, please. There's four. Pull it. Three. Doing great. Two. Last one. And from the beginning, elbow, full range of motion, looking good. Four more like this, contract, inhale as you take it down, last two, and one, keep it up with pulse. Make that abdominal muscle work for you. For four, three, two, and one, take it slowly down, let's extend one leg at a time. Hands come out over the head, inhale up, and exhale. Cross the left leg over, arms extended to the side, stretch out those obliques that we just worked. And coming back to the center, feet hips distance apart again. This time, lift up your right knee, cross it over your left, let that knee fall out to the side, elbows come back, 
thumbs behind your ears. This time we keep the right elbow on the floor. Now we're lifting our left up to that center imaginary line. And lift it. Control the move. Exhale and inhale. Breathe out and in. Four more, please. Feeling it right here. Two more, two. Now hold it up and pulse. Pulse it up. Four more, there's four, three, work it, two, and one. Arm extend, you've got it. Take it out and in. Stretch it way past the knee. And four more, there's four, three, last two, two. From the beginning, elbow back, extend it over. Up, avoid keeping that held back. Tuck the chin in towards the chest. Four more like this, exhale and inhale. Two more, last two, keep it up on one and pulse, control it, contract. Four more, four, three, two, and one, arm extend, we take it in and extend it, in and extend it, breathe in and exhale. Last, four, three, two, and one. From the beginning, last time, take it crunch and lower. Exhale and inhale. Breathe out and in. Control it. Last four right here. Here's four. Three, two, you're doing great. Hold it up and pulse for me. You can do it. Make it work right here. Last four, it's four. Three, two, arm extend last time. In, reach it over. Full range. Four, here we go, and. Last one, and release it. Take it slowly back, gently take that head towards the floor, extend one leg at a time. Stretch it out, good. Arms extend out to the side, right knee crosses over, tip it, stretch long through those obliques. Feels good, and slowly take it back to the center. Feet hips distance apart, press the small of the back into the floor. Now one leg at a time, take the left leg up, right leg meets it, and we cross at the ankle. Let those knees fall gently out towards the side. We've got a right angle right here. Now we're giving a little bit more resistance to your abdomen. Now take the elbows back, thumbs behind the ears. Now we'll just be crunching up and down. Now again, remember you've got that softball between the chin and chest. Don't let the head tip back. Your elbows are out there, keep them back. Press the small of the back into the floor. Now let's do eight more. Here's eight. Work it, exhale and inhale. Give me four more. Here's four, three, looking good. Two, and one. Now hold it up and pulse, it's pulse. Contract. Four, last five, six, seven, and eight. Now take it down. Next we'll be going with up for two, down for two. Take it up for two and down for two. Up a little bit higher, down a little lower. Up, higher, and down. Give me eight more. Here's one. Looking good. Two. Take the chin in towards the chest, holding that softball. Doing great. Working on those abs of steel. Four more. Up. Slow and controlled. Last two. Exhale. Deep breath, inhale on the way down. And take it up for your last one. And slowly down. Doing great. Let's take it out for a stretch. Pull those knees in towards the chest. Rock it gently for me. Lift the knees up. And extend one leg at a time. Stretch it out. You should start feeling a little burn in the abdomen right now. You're doing great so far. Knees into the chest again, one at a time. Let's take the legs back up. Cross those ankles. Knees out. Right angle right here. Press the small of the back into the floor. Elbows come back. Thumbs behind the ears. Remember not to lace it. And let's take it up for a crunch. Here we go for eight. Eight. Exhale. Keep it in. Four more, please. Here's four. Work it, three, two, hold it up and pulse, pulse, pulse. You've got it, you're doing fantastic. Four, 
three, two, and one. Take it down. Now we go up for two, down for two. I know you can do it. Up for two, and down for two. Up for two, and down for two. Exhale, and inhale. Take it down. Here's four. And take it down, and do four more. You can do it. Exhale, contract, inhale, take it down. Control it, chin to chest, keep it going. Two more, exhale, and inhale, take it down. Last one, control, and inhale, take it down. Head comes all the way down to the floor, knees in towards the chest. Let's rock it gently, and lifting up, and rolling it down. Good, lift up and roll it down. Let's extend one leg at a time. Take it out. Deep breath, inhale. Contract every single in the muscle in the body. And exhale, release it. Knees into the chest again. And rock it gently. Grab behind your thighs. Roll yourself up by swinging your legs forward. Congratulations, you made it through the entire beginner workout. Now if you feel up to it, move on to the intermediate program. Otherwise, fast forward to the cool down. You've done a great job. This is your intermediate workout. Make sure you've done your warm up at the beginning of the tape. And even if you're coming into this at the intermediate level, be sure to do my beginner level workout at least once for there's some very important points that I'll reference to throughout this entire workout. Let's get started. Gently take yourself back, rolling one elbow at a time, feet hips distance apart, Press the small of the back into the floor. Take the arms back. Place those thumbs behind the ears. Remember not to lace the fingers. Holding onto that softball between the chin and chest. Let's crunch up, exhaling up as we lift. Exhale and inhale. Exaggerate this movement. You know how to do it. Contract it in. Squeeze, release. Exhale, shorten and lengthen. Take it up. You've got it. Let's do eight more. Here's eight. Seven, looking good. Six, don't tip that head back. Last four, three, holding on right here. Two, hold it up on your last one and pulse it. Pulse, work those muscles. You're looking good. All right, let's do eight more. It's eight, seven, six, elbows back. Four, three, two, and one. Take it slowly down. Now we'll be alternating lifting a leg at a time. And take this left leg and it just lifts off the ground as such. In four, three, two, let's lift. Take it up, switch legs. Be careful not to arch your back. Don't tip your head back. Take it slightly forward. Exhale and inhale. Control that lift. Only the lower part of the leg lifts. It does not come back towards you. Looks good. Let's do eight more like this. Eight, seven, you've got it. Looking good, your abs are gonna be so good. Last four, three, come on, two, and one. Now we go down for two, up for two. Let's go. Up for two and down. Switch legs, please. Up for two, control, good. Up, two, and down, two, up, two, and down, two, four more, it's up, crunch it in, inhale as you take it down, exhale as you lift, don't tip that head back, keep the small of the back pressed into the floor, and take it down, last one right here, lift it slowly up, and take it down, and lift your left leg up, and let's pulse, 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 pump it up, you've got it, last four, three, Two and one. Let's slowly switch sides. Always control the lift and pulse eight. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five. Last four. Three, two, and one. Take it slowly down. Let's stretch into that rib cage. Stretch it out. You are doing a great job so far. I know you're working really hard there at home. Now, crunch it up for eight again for me. Let's crunch. Exaggerate it. Really make the abdominal muscles work for you. Last four. Good, three, two, legs are relaxed. And one, hold it, pulse it, 
pulse. You've got it. Last four. Three, two, and one. Take it back, stretch it again, and hold on behind your thighs. We'll be lifting up, moving on. Sit facing me, Indian style. Contract the abdomen in. Lean your body weight slightly, slightly forward. Now, we'll be working through the obliques, those muscles that run right along the side of your rib cage, giving you a nice small waistline. Take the elbows up. This time, I'm gonna let you lace your fingers. We're gonna wanna hold on. Now, when we lean to the side, we lean out very slowly, starting to your right, feeling a big stretch right here and contracting right here. As we lift it up, make this oblique pull you up. Make sense? Take it down, contract, and squeeze it up. Let's try it again. This exercise is very easy to do incorrectly. So you really have to be aware of the muscle groups that we're working. Take it up. I think you've got it. Let's do eight more. Let's go. Take it down and squeeze it up. Big stretch, down and squeeze it up. There's two. Down, squeeze, lean slightly forward for me. Here's your fourth one. And lift it up, controlled. Make that oblique lift you up. Here's six, pull, leaning slightly forward, still contracting your abdomen in. Now here's your last one at this pace. Make it good and lift it up. Now we'll go down for two and strong lift up. Let's go down for two to your right. Down, lower, and lift, other side. Down, lower, and lift, other side. Make sure you do not lean back. Contract it up. Take it down, contract it up. Doing great. And lift, here's your last four. Four, lift it center, inhale, and exhale, take it up. Last two, and other side last time. And lift it up. Now, take this elbow down towards the floor, stretch out with the other arm. Now we're gonna pulse right here. Feel a big stretch right here and contract through this side. Squeeze, squeeze. Lean your body weight slightly forward. Now let's do eight more right here. And eight, seven, six, contract. Four, three, two, and one. Let's round it forward and take it to the other side and contract. Fantastic, squeeze it. Make it work right here. Last five. Six, seven, and eight. Now, elbows back up. Press it. Looking good, we're almost done. Almost ready to move on. Last four, three, two, and one. Last time to this side. Pulse it for me, you're doing fantastic. And pulse, control it. Squeeze it right here, stretch it right here. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly controlled, lift yourself back up. And take those knees in towards you. Turn it to the side. Lower yourself back down one elbow at a time. And let's take the knees in towards the chest and roll it to one side. Stretch it out. Stretch through those obliques. Before we move on, let's stretch them out and take it to the other side. You are doing great so far. We're ready to move on. Take those knees in towards the chest. Rock it. Gently front and back. Place both feet on the floor, lift the left leg up, lift it up, and just place the foot on top of the right knee. Arms come back, thumbs behind the ears. Remember not to lace the fingers. Chin to chest, holding onto that softball. Good. Crunching as we lift, exhaling as we lift. Let's go. Exhale and inhale. There's two. You've got it. Three. Don't tip the head back. Last four. Press the small of the back into the floor. Last two, now we add a variation. Lift your right leg. Lift and lower. Good job. Remember not to tilt your head back. Controlled move with the leg. Let's do eight more right here. Eight, seven, elbows stay back. And four, control it, you've got it. Two, now we go up for two, down for two. Up, two, down, two. Now on this one, your back may have a tendency to arch, so really press the small of the back into the floor. Let's start our eight right here. 
There's one. And take it down for two. Contract it in. Exhale up as you lift. Here's your fourth one. You're doing a great job. Give me four more. Four. Inhale, stretch it. Three, exhale as you lift. Two more like this, slow. Control it. Take it down and stretch. Last one. Now keep that leg up. Take this elbow across. Now you should be feeling it through this oblique right here. And crunch, pulse. You've got the move. You've got it. Now let's do eight more. And one. Control it. Last four. Three, two, and one. Slowly lower it down, lower that leg, take the head back. Now legs come together and we curl them over to one side. Stack your hips up for me. Take this left leg and take it a little bit past the other one. Curl the legs. Now both shoulders are still on the floor and this time we're working the obliques right through here. Elbows back, thumbs behind the ears, no lacing. When we crunch up, we're still contracting through the abdomen and exhaling as we lift. It's one. Two, control your lift. Do not tilt the head back. And four more, please. Four. You've got it. Two. Stay up for one. Here we go. And pulse. Pulse. Looking good. Keep it going. Let's do eight more. Crunch it in. Two, three, four. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Let's take it back down. Long stretch, extend the arms. And elbows back again. Let's go through it again. Lift it up. There's two. Don't tip the head back. Four more, you've got it. Four, three, two, one more. Hold it up and pulse, here we go. Pulse eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it down, stretch long, and knees come into the chest. Press the small of the back in towards the floor. Feet hips distance apart again. Now lift the right leg up, place the foot on top of the left knee. Elbows back, getting ready. Thumbs behind the ears, don't lace those fingers. Exhale as we lift. Let's go, crunch up. Exhale and inhale, contract it, squeeze it. Let's go for eight more, you've got it. Eight, seven, six, keep going. Last four, don't tip the head back, two, and one. Lift the bottom leg, lift up and down, up and down. Avoid swinging the neck back and forth. Don't arch the back, last four, three, two, up, two, down, two, let's go. Up for two, down, you've got it, up for two, and down for two. Keep going with me. Last four. Inhale as you take it down. Exhale as you lift. Slow and controlled. Last two. One more, please. Up. Keep it up. And remember, we turn it and pulse it. Keep it going. Can we do eight more? Let's go. Eight. Seven, six, five, keep going, four, three, two, and one. And take it slowly down, control it, relax it, good. Knees come together, we're ready to go to this side, working the obliques right through here. Stack those hips, please. Right knee comes slightly in front of the other knee. Elbows back, no lacing. Both shoulders lift up, exhale as you lift. Working right through here now, you ready? Let's crunch. Exhale up, inhale down. Keep going. Crunch it. Four more, please. Four. Three. You've got it. Two. Stay up, pulse it up. Here we go. Pulse. Work it. Last five, six, seven. From the start, down. There's one. And two. Stretch, contract. Holding in right here. 
You've got it. Give me two more. Here's one. And two. Take it up. And crunch. Crunch. Last. Four. Three. Two. Good job. And take it slowly down. Press the small of the back in towards the floor. Knees into the chest. And lift it up. Press into the palms. Lift it up again. Let's take those knees from side to side. Stretch through those obliques. Round it in. And other side. In again. And hold on behind those hamstrings. Swing your legs up to brown you up. Good. And to the front. Fantastic. You made it through the entire intermediate workout. If you feel up to it, move on to the bonus crunch. Challenge yourself. Otherwise, the cool down is next. This is your cool down section. If you're up for it, fast forward to the bonus crunch. And remember, no matter which program you choose, always end it with a cool down. Let's go down to our backs. Slowly, one elbow at a time, roll yourself gently back, and let's extend one leg out at a time. Arms come up over the head. Now let's take a deep breath, inhale up, and as we do, contract every single muscle in the body as if you were up, lifting up off the floor. And exhale, take it down. Inhale again, contract. And exhale, take it down. Arms come out towards the sides. You deserve this cool down. You've done a great job. Let's take the left knee in. Tilt it towards the back. Good. Feeling a stretch right in through your obliques. Press that knee out towards the floor. And release it. As we take it to the other side, press the small of the back in towards the floor. And let's slowly switch legs. Good. Knee comes in. And curve it towards me, please. Very important to cool down no matter what type of exercise you're doing. And round the small of the back in towards the floor. Let's extend both those legs again. Arms come up over the head. And this time, press the small of the back in towards the floor. Feel a tight contraction through the lower abdominal region. And release it. And once more for me, press the small of the back in towards the floor. Contract, hold that contraction and release it, relax. Let's take one knee in towards the chest at a time. Other leg meets it. And rock back gently, pull those knees in towards your chest, lifting your tailbone, stretching your lower back. Press the knees in towards the palms. You've worked hard. You're gonna get those abs you want. Tight, firm, good, and release it. Now, take your hands behind your thighs, and we'll swing our legs forward to lift us up and swing it forward and curve the legs gently to one side have them in a relaxed position sitting up straight and lift up inhale press into that rib cage don't arch your back and exhale take it down relaxed and inhale take it up hold that stretch and exhale take it down let's do this one more time to this side then we'll switch those legs to the other side lift it and take it down Slowly, carefully switch sides. Legs in a relaxed position. Sitting up straight. Inhale up. Stretch into it. Stretch those muscles. You worked so hard today. Good. In again. And melt it down. Exhale, release it. Last time. We're almost there. You've done so well. And exhale, take it down. Congratulations. You made it through the entire workout. Now remember, the key to success in any program is consistency. Do your workout three days a week. And with the rest of the Buns of Steel videos, we've got you covered. You're going to have those abs of steel that you want and definitely deserve. This is your bonus crunch. Get ready for the ultimate challenge in abdominal work. I've got my three pound hand weights that we can use as an option. Don't feel like you have to use them throughout the entire workout. I'll show you some variations. Let's get started. Come on down to your back, one elbow down at a time. Let's extend the legs out just a bit, resting on the heels, press the small of the back in towards the floor. Now at this time, you could use your hand weight by holding it on your chest and contracting, holding the chin in as you lift and lowering it. Or you can take an arm back, extend it, cross one arm over the elbow, let the head rest into the hand. Good. Arm extended, chin towards the chest, exhale as you lift, let's contract up. 
Lift it up. Fantastic. Crunch it, make the abdominal muscles work for you. Relax those legs. Press the small of the back in towards the floor. Let's do eight more, it's eight. Seven, you've got it. You've worked hard to get to this point. Four more right here, four. Three, come on, two, and one. And lift your left leg up, lift, switch legs. Lift, switch legs, keep going, up. Press the small of the back in towards the floor. You've got it. Let's do eight more like this. Here's eight, seven, control. Set the weight down if you need to. Last four, please, four. There's three, two, and one, and hold. Let's take that weight down, and knees come up one leg at a time. Knees stay slightly bent. Soles of the feet are facing the ceiling. And we'll do a reverse curl to start. Tailbone lifts up off the floor just slightly and push it up and lower it. Contract and lower it. Now don't swing with momentum. Make the abdomen do all the work. Avoid pressing the palms in towards the floor. Relax it. Let's do eight more. And press up. Press. Contract. There's five. Six. Keep going. Seven. And eight. Incorporate a crunch. Let's go. Lift it. Little added resistance. Chin to chest. Still hanging on to that softball. Good. Let's do eight more right here. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Keep it going. You can do it. Three. Two. And one. And hold. Now, little variation. What we do, we lift up and then twist side, other side, we hold, and then take it down. Here's the pace. Up, side, side, hold, lower it, lift again. Lift, side, side, and down. Lift, side, working your obliques, and down. Lift it, side, side, and down. Lift, side, side, eight more please. Up, twist it, twist, and down. Lift, twist, twist, and lower it. Lift. Four more, four. You've got it, three. Last two, come on, keep going. You can make it, and one. And hold. Legs come down slightly, making a right angle right here. Let's cross those knees. Take them out to the side slightly. And fists are gonna come to your shoulders. The movement goes like this. It's up, up, and down, down. Up, up, on the last count, take the head down. Up, up, and down, down. Now we can make this a little bit more advanced by extending the legs. Up, up, down. Pull it all in, up, down, and down. Keep it going, fantastic. Let's do eight more, eight. Control, take it back, exhale. You're on five. Great, last four. Three. And two, come on, almost there. And one. And hold. Take the knees into the chest. Stretch it in. Great job. And press the knees in towards the palms. Swing it in again. And let's take the knees over to one side. Stretch it out long. Arms extend. Press the small of the back in towards the floor. Roll it to the other side. And release it. Hands come behind the thighs. And roll it up. Great job, you made it through it. Now remember, you can do this bonus crunch alone when you want a quick, intense abdominal workout or add it on to your intermediate routine. Now rewind to the cool down.